Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek and today I want to talk about a comment that I received on a video that I done last week on a controversial topic that honestly it got for my channel it had decent views, maybe a hundred, which I'm you know, I usually get about five to ten views a video, if that. But I got this comment on this video and I knew from the start, making that video would be divisive to say people are going to hate it. If you're on the internet, you're probably going to hate it because uh, the internet's mostly comprised of people on the left, which that's not a bad thing. You can be on the left and be on the internet. But if you have one slight ideal or belief of the right, you're a white supremacist. I didn't say that. Twitter did. But no, for real. So, <laughs> the video I made in question was a Kyle Rittenhouse um, verdict and what I thought about it. And honestly, like what I said in the video is I think justice was served. That's just me. This is coming from a white guy. Apparently I have white privilege and I'm a white supremacist and I'm a racist and I'm a bigot. I'm the far left. I mean, wait. Not far left. Far right. Oh, my God. I can't call myself the far left. What have I done? How am I going to live my white supremacist ways? Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Get a little bit out of shape right there. Just a little bit. So I thought justice was served. Honestly, it, it it was a long trial. It was about three weeks, wasn't it? Two or three weeks. And a lot of stuff was stacked against the victims, which if you take a look at their rep sheets, especially one which liked to touch little boys, you probably deserve to go, right? But he's a victim. He's a victim. He wasn't a victim. He was target practice. This probably sounds really bad. It sounds awful. Really bad. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, you know what I mean? He's just target practice a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. A lot of people on the left, especially on Twitter, uh, all kinds of different postings like uh, Washington Post, Kotaku, stuff like that. Kotaku is one. I think it was Gizmodo, Jezebel. I don't know if they, how they operate. I haven't used Kotaku in years. Kotaku. Kotaku. Kotaku in years. Kotaku. Kotaku in years, which Kotaku is a video game aggregate, but not an aggregate, but a site. Mainly they talk about video games, but they also, when they talk about video games, they... <sighs> A lot, of, a lot of liberal bullshit in it, but it's like a bunch of woke stuff that I don't care about. Like, I just want to hear about my video game. I don't care about how many genders there are represented in this video game. I don't care. How I see it is you can be whatever you want to be. It doesn't bug me. If you want to be a fucking lizard man, be a lizard man. I don't care. That's your choice. So be... What you want to be, be you. Be the best you you possibly can be, except when you're trying to be me, which don't be me because that's a bad idea. Not very good to be me, right? Okay, sorry. So, yeah, um, it was, uh, I thought justice was served. Obviously, we talked a little bit on that on the last video. And I kind of want to talk about this. <laughs> this has to be a troll. Has to be a troll. Just a way... It's typed out, and it's bad grammar, which I'm not the best at grammar. Anybody that knows me and I post random shit online knows my grammar is fucked. But this one is pretty <laughs> spicy, which for some odd reason I cannot view it. I think it was removed. Not by me. But this one's pretty good. It can still show up in my notifications that is here, and I can actually read it out. And, <laughs> woo! Yeah, that's a, it's a spicy one. So you guys ready? Now, I know people actually believe this, 
So what I'm saying holds true to a lot of people on the internet. They probably fucking believe this, and I think this is why it's a troll. Fuck white people. Vote <laughs> Republican voters are retards. Self-defense is a lousy excuse to kill people. This is why guns need to be banned. Ban? Kyle have white privilege. Woo! First and foremost, that's kind of racist. And I believe judging people by their skin color, either if you're white, black, whatever color, ever, if you, you know, a different color with a rainbow, you pick. You shouldn't judge anybody by the color of their sin, skin. Sin. Sin. Sin and skin. Sin and skin. Hey. Okay. Skin collar. I can't say collar right. I never have been able to say it right. Eh, who cares? I'm pretty sure that's racist. But don't tell the people on Twitter that. If you're white incel like me, you're a white supremacist. Do not be thinking outside their norms. If you look a little bit to the right, you're a bigot. Fuck you. Get off the internet. God, you piece of shit. You dumb fucking bigot, you bastard. Stinky dickhead. Son of a bitch. Bitch. There we go. It's pretty strong with the fuck white people. He didn't... He, <laughs> he censored himself, which is pretty cool. It was uh, F uh, ampersand dollar sign K. At least he did that. At least... At least he did that. And again, this has to be a troll, but it's really funny because people actually believe that. A lot of people think that Kyle Rittenhouse went to Wisconsin or whatever and shot up a bunch of black people, which it wasn't the case. It was two white dudes. And another guy got his bicep blown in pieces. One was an extreme pedophile that touched little boys on the regular. The other one had another rap sheet. The other one probably had another rap sheet. Had a gun pointed at Kyle Rittenhouse's head. You can watch the video. It improves that. But you can't shoot somebody to scream and put a gun to your head. That's not fair. You have to let him pull the trigger first, then shoot him. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's fucking crazy. The comment just made me laugh and chuckle. I was at work and they came up on my phone and I was just like, wow. Wow. People on the internet believe this shit and he's just writing truth he's just writing truth he or she's writing truth i hope it's a troll for fuck's sake i hope it is i, I really do i hope it is because if not then it's weird i don't know how you can judge somebody say i'm white you're white you will, you are right right centered and I am left centered, or you're in the middle grounds and you don't really care about either, which is kind of where I'm at. Which I you know I have a lot of conservative views, but I also have some liberal views. But used to be I was a really big liberal, like hardcore left, hardcore. It wasn't until like 2016, 2000 between 2016 and 18, I red pilled. And that probably sounds bad. Ooh, you got red pilled? No, I was blue pilled my whole life. You know, I was meant to hate Republicans and conservatives. No, that doesn't mean I care for far right views because there's far, far right views like Nazis, white supremacists, stuff like that. Then there's the far lefty boys and girls and fish and lizards and Xerox copy machines. There's far, far left and far, far right, which I don't think anybody wants to really be a part. I mean, yeah, you're seeing it on campuses, you're seeing it on Twitter, you're seeing news outlets just put out a bunch of woke nonsense that nobody really cares about except for dim people. 
but those 10 people happen to have the biggest megaphone? It's, it's true. It's true. And I'm not trying to stir up controversy or anything, but it doesn't make a lot of sense that if you're white and I'm white and I'm not a white supremacist, but I believe in the left, some of the stuff on the left, I mean the right. See, I can't get it right. So, Because I used to be hardcore left. So right, it's programmed in my head to be like, oh, the left. I'm still kind of right. I'm, I'm right in the middle. Maybe a little bit to the right, but not really. Right in the middle. How are you a white supremacist? And this, these two, these two terms get pass around like candy. You're either a Nazi or a white supremacist or you're both. Last time we checked, Nazis, the bad guys from WW2 that had uh, killed a lot of people. Uh, really bad atrocity. And to pass that term around, and that's my phone, term, term around lightly is concerning. It's really concerning. I understand if you see somebody that's, you know, a white supremacist that's a white supremacist, which you know what a white supremacist is, and they're still Nazis, and they kind of fit in there with the white supremacist. But those terms should not be passed around lightly. So it's going to get a lot of people in trouble, like news outlets, Cal House is going to make a lot of money. We've seen this happen with the, I believe it was the Covington kids that went to Washington, D.C. And that kid got smeared all over everything. And Kyle Rittenhouse has been the same thing. So these two guys are going to have a lot of money because the CNNs of the world, the Dom LeMans of the world, like to pass around white supremacist Nazi candy to everyone that watches and a lot of people, you know, they take that blue pill and they swallow it and they don't even ask questions. A lot of people, again, they think that Kyle Rittenhouse went with his AR-15, his automatic rifle, his machine gun, and kill streaked some black people. Which, again, didn't happen. It's white people. They say it was for Black Lives Matter. It wasn't. It was rioting. It's what it was. People was catching things on fire. Now, I'm not saying Black Lives Matter was bad, because they're not. BLM's not inherently bad. It's just like any other group. You inherently have one or two people or a whole group that just tarnishes the rest of the group, making them look bad, because that's why it get co gets covered. Now, a lot of news outlets won't cover the fact that there is riots, there's companies and uh, businesses and all this kind of stuff get destroyed for no reason. There's rioting and they're standing up for what you believe in. I don't think a Louis Vuitton purse, I think, is Louis Vuitton purses? I don't think stealing that in a big screen TV is going to you know, set your ideas of peace and togetherness very well. Or throwing a Motolov cocktail at a car lot. Or catching stuff on fire. Chasing people. Kicking people. Harassing people. And this happens on both the left and the right. I'm not going to lie. It does. It does. I'm not sugarcoating it for you. Both of Both sides. Both sides need to chill the fuck out. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Calm down with the woke stuff. Please. Cut out with the white supremacist stuff. Cut it out with the racism. I think we'd get along just fine if we cut all that out. So no more racist. No more white supremacists. No more woke bastards. No more extreme liberals. Uh, Antifa. They don't exist. They're like Batman. They come in the night. Just like they have the left. They, the left has Antifa. The right has Proud Boys. Which is kind of hard to watch. You almost 
need to get an encyclopedia to figure out what's going on. You know, look on Twitter, you're automatically thinking everything is racist, everybody's white supremacist, and everybody's a Nazi. Uh, a lot of people on Twitter are mainly people, you know, influencers that are heavily into the left, and they churn out a bunch of shit, and people centered in the right, not centered, people are that are in the right, get censored pretty regularly, and that's proven. Um, you know, if you're a Christian white person, you're fucked. Like, big time. You are fucked. I, I rambled on, on and on about this. I just thought it was funny. It was funny to me to see that comment, and I believe it got deleted, but it was hilarious to me to see it because it was just, whoa. <sighs> Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Sorry, I stutter a lot. I know you're probably writing uh, a big thing on, you know, whatever, saying, You stuck. You stutter, you white supremacist Nazi. Ah! Supremacist! I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you soon.